Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lian from Resin Shine Creations. I hope you are all doing well. As you can see here, I have some coffee beans. And in today's video, I will show you how I made resin coasters with these coffee beans. At this stage, they smell so strong because I just took them out of the package. And also, I will be using a dark chocolate pigment from Just For You Online UK. It is beautiful brown pigment and you will see later. So I premixed some resin and these coasters will be made in layers. These particular I made in three layers. So this is the first one and the base. So I am mixing in some brown pigment and the other part of resin I will leave how it is transparent. And here I start my pour. So I'm aiming about one third transparent and two thirds brown. And of course, fingers crossed that I have enough everything because it is hard to really know how much you need for these layers to mix. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would be grateful if you click like and if you enjoy videos about resin, consider to subscribe to my channel. I do upload twice a week, so there is always something new to see. So I finished my resin pour and now I'm taking the coffee beans and just putting them in the transparent part. And then I noticed that there are some broken beans, so I'm taking them out and also I'm turning them around so they look like coffee beans, not just brown pebbles. On to the next one. I did sped up for you quite a bit, so it's not boring to watch. And it's pretty straightforward. Just organize them how you like. Also, I did not prep my beans in any way. After opening the bean package and putting them in a bowl, I noticed they were on the oily side. So I just uh, took a kitchen towel and kind of uh, tried to clean them a bit so the oiliness goes away because I thought that it could interfere with the resin. I wasn't sure and yeah, it looks like everything was fine from that point on. And also I think that these beans would float into the resin rather than sink. So nearly done and I will be torch to get rid of bubbles and then leave them to cure. So 
So this is the next day and I mix it again a little bit of resin and this is really simple layer just pour it over so the beans are submerged in the resin because next layer I, so on this layer that's gonna cure I wanna apply vinyl sticker so I need that the surface is level and no bumps there so after that's done I spend a little bit of time with my heat gun to kill all the bubbles and then once again I left them to cure And while they cure, I bought some designs of Etsy, probably will link the shop down below. It was a bundle of coffee stickers, I think it was about 80 there. So I took four and I'm just cutting out with my circuit maker and I am very very happy that I own this machine because it is very handy And here are two of my stickers. So this is the next day and the resin is dry and cured and it's time to take them out. Uh, I chose to take them out. Probably I could leave them in and fill the last layer there but I chose to take them out. And it's really straightforward as we saw them in the mold they are the same coming out and here are my stickers that I prepared off camera I left just one to show you my weaving and yeah how it's done so i will put some little bit of music and let you enjoy this part and come back to you shortly So that's that, applying the vinyl stickers and after that I will put a top coat and paint the edges gold 
And here they are all ready. And I absolutely love them. I think they are gorgeous. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.